Hey, 49ers faithful. In today's video, we bring you the hottest 49ers news, featuring player trades, contract extensions, signings, free agency moves, and more. So, stay with us and watch the whole video. The 49ers seem to be losing their edge week by week. Last week, they were without key offensive players like Debo Samuel and George Kittle, and now it appears they've lost Javon Hargrave for the remainder of the season. To add to their misfortune, Brock Purdy underwent an MRI for his back and is now day-to-day. -day. With all these injuries piling up, the team needs to start winning now. But will Purdy's injury actually help? Purdy delivered a decent performance on Sunday, completing some impressive passes to Jennings. However, there were missed opportunities, especially with some dropped passes cough Ronnie Bell cough, and a few missed throws late in the game sealed their fate. Even with those errors, there's no other quarterback on the roster who throws the ball better. But if Purdy is sidelined, it might be time for Kyle Shanahan to shake things up, and there's one team's playbook that could be a perfect fit for the 49ers. This season, the New Orleans Saints have been a standout team. Derek Carr has been playing at an MVP level. Despite being in the lower half for passing yards, Carr hasn't needed to rely heavily on the passing game. The Saints lead the league in run play percentage RPP at 60.69% and rank lowest in passing play percentage PPP at 39.31%. While it may seem unconventional, this strategy has worked wonders, creating opportunities for critical plays. The Saints' success this season has been their ability to use the run game as a powerful threat, which opens up the deep ball. Rashid Shahid has thrived as the deep threat, Chris Olavi has been the reliable safety option, and Alvin Kamara remains the key weapon. It's almost as though the 49ers possess similar assets. The 49ers have been close to matching the Saints' RPP and PPP, but not quite there. Currently, the 49ers' RPP stands at 48.02%, ranking 10th in the league while their PPP is at 51.98%, ranking 23rd. They run the ball more than most teams, but if Purdy is out, why not aim for the top spot? According to PFF, the 49ers actually have better blocking grades than the Saints. While the Saints have a 52.1 pass blocking grade and a 71.1 run blocking grade, the 49ers boast a 64.2 pass blocking grade and a 73.3 run blocking grade. It almost feels like they could execute the scheme even better than the Saints. And if that's not convincing enough, the 49ers have all the tools the Saints have, and possibly even more. Brandon Ayuk or Jawan Jennings could easily step into the role of a reliable receiver or route runner, providing crucial yards when needed. Jordan Mason has already proven he has what it takes to be a starting running back and Jacob Cowing is a speedy deep threat receiver. The team has all the right pieces, so why not apply the winning formula? In the end, whether Brock Purdy is able to play or not, this team needs a shift in order to get back to winning ways. Either they improve their current formula or they adopt a new one. This seems like the best possible change. We'll have to wait and see how things unfold in the coming days, but hopefully this team will start to click soon. Don't miss any 49ers news. Subscribe and like this video now. We post two videos every day, all week long. Thank you to all our supporters. Bang Bang Niner Gang!